Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about updating and deleting rows inside of a database table. So in the last few tutorials, we've looked at creating database tables and inserting information into them. But now, once we have that information inside those tables, I'm going to show you guys how to update it and delete it uh, whenever you want. So we have here our student database and this is or the student table and it's the table that we've been using throughout the course and so down here you can see it's just a bunch of students um, and they have names majors and IDs so right now these are all of the students that are stored inside of our database so these are the database entries that we can work with the first thing I'll show you guys how to do is update some of these entries and so you know let's say that we wanted to you know update something so let's say that we wanted to change the name of one of the majors in our school right so let's say I am the database administrator for uh, my school and we decided that instead of calling the major biology we wanted to call it bio so the official name for the major is no longer biology it's just gonna be bio well we could actually make that change inside the database so I can use a special keyword called update and I can just type out the name of the table where I want to do the update so in our case it's student and over here I can say update student and I want to set major equal to bio right but here's the thing i don't want to set the major equal to bio for all the students i only want to set the major equal to bio for the students who have their major as biology so over here we can specify that i could say where and here i can put a condition so i could say major is equal to biology and i'm going to put a semicolon so this whole thing now is one SQL statement or query. And so what I'm doing is I'm updating the student table and I'm setting the major column equal to bio where the major column is already equal to biology. So now if I was to go ahead and run this, you'll see it says rows affected two. So we updated two of the rows in this database. And if I was to select all of them and I'm gonna click run, you'll see down here now for the two students who are biology majors, it's now saying that they're bio majors, right? So it updated the database only in those places where the student's major was equal to biology. And that's what we can do here. So this is just a very basic update statement, but we can use this in order to do all sorts of stuff. So let's do another one. We could do the same for computer science. So I could say update student set major equal to comp sci where major equals computer science. So I'm basically abbreviating this major. So let's go ahead and run this. And again, I'm just going to select all from the table. You'll see down here, Mike, who used to be a computer science major is now a comp sci major. So I was able to update that. Another thing you can do is you can update specific things. So I could say like update student set major equal to comp sci where, and then over here I could do a different condition. So I could say like student ID is equal to four. So now I'm updating the student's major who has an ID of four. So this is like a different type of query. So down here, I'm running that and then I'm gonna select all. And so now you can see that Jack, who used to be a comp sci, or who used to be a biology major is now a comp sci major because his student ID was four. So you can get kind of creative, you know, playing around with setting different things and then checking different conditions. You could also use more complex conditions down here. So down here we have bio majors and we have chemistry majors, right? Well, let's say that any student who is either a biology or a chemistry major is now going to be a biochemistry major. So we're combining those two majors together. Well, I could update that here. So I could say update student set major equal to biochemistry where major is equal to bio. And over here we could say or, and then we could also say major is equal to chemistry. And this is going to give us some or logic. So now if the student has a major of bio or if they have a major of chemistry, we're going to set it equal to biochemistry. So we're basically combining those two majors together. So now I'll click run and you can see rows affected is two and I'll select all from students. And you can see now Jack and Claire, Jack used to be a bio major, chem, Claire used to be a chem major, are both now biochemistry majors. So you can use or in order to check multiple things like that. You can also set multiple things. So over here, um, I'm actually gonna get rid of this condition and I could say set name equal to Tom and major equal to undecided where student ID is equal to one. 
So whoever has a student ID equal to one is gonna have their name set to Tom and their major set to undecided. So let's go ahead and run this and you'll see it says one row affected. So let's select all from the students table. And you'll see down here, the student with the ID of one is now named Tom and their major is undecided. So you can change multiple columns within the same uh, query like I did up here. All right, so there's one more thing we can do, which we could actually get rid of this uh, where. So this is actually optional. So if I got rid of where, I could then set something. So why don't we set major equal to undecided? So if I get rid of that where statement, this is just gonna apply to every single row in the table. So now when we run this, you'll see rows affected was five. And now when we select all from the students table, all of their majors are now undecided. So you can either select specific rows or groups of rows with that where, or you can just do it to all of them by dropping the where. So now I'm gonna show you guys how we can delete rows from the table, and it's actually pretty similar to how we would update rows. So instead of updating a specific row or a group of rows, I could actually delete a specific row or a group of rows. So it's actually, like I said, pretty similar to update. I'm just gonna type in delete from, and then the name of the table. So in our case, it's gonna be student, and you could actually just end this off right here. I could put a semicolon here, and this will go ahead and delete all of the rows inside of the table. But why don't we try to get more specific? So I'm gonna to try to delete a specific row. I can say delete from student where, and now I can specify a condition. So I could say like uh, where student ID is equal to five. And so what this will do is it'll delete any students or any rows from the table that have a student ID of five. So down here, we just have one uh, like that. So uh, Mike, who's an undecided major has an ID of five. So if I was to run this, now you'll see it says rows affected one, and we'll select all from students, and Mike is no longer inside the table. So we actually deleted a specific row. And just like update, you can get more fancy with these queries. So I could say like where name is equal to Tom, and you could also do an and. So instead of doing or, we're doing an and here, and I could say like major is equal to undecided. So this will delete any students from the table who have a name of Tom and who are an undecided major. So now when I run this query, you'll see, uh, and I select all the students again, that Tom got deleted from the table. So uh, he's no longer there. So just like we used where in the update statements, we can use where with the delete statements to do all of that. But if you wanted, you could just delete everything from the table. So now I'm just going to run this command. And if I query the table, you'll see that nothing's there. So we deleted everything. So updating and deleting is extremely useful. And you can use that where statement in order to specify what specific row you want to update and what specific row you want to delete. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.